Hello, everyone. I hope everyone is having a great day today. Um, I have something I want to share with you, um, and that's looking at the big picture in weight management. Um, the key principles, I think we need to go over them to ingrain them in our neuro pathways so we have something to pull back on. And also, I'm gonna give you a little bit about what I do when something doesn't go right, especially in a weight management plan. Um, before we do that, I wanna share a biblical text with you, a biblical prescription. And that's found in Romans, Romans 11, verses 29. For the gifts and calling of God are irrevocable. For the gifts and calling of God are irrevocable. So let's hold on to that as we talk a little bit about weight management. We've done that since the beginning of the year, as many of us are struggling with this. Um, it's, a, it's a disease, um, obesity, affecting at least 42% of Americans, and it's growing worldwide. And unfortunately, 70% of people now overweight. So it's a problem that we have to address. And we've talked about some strategies, and I've been so moved with that this year that our ministry, HeartWise Ministry, is going to try to come up with a tool this year that we can develop during the year and give to everyone next year, um, a tool that we can give to people that will help them long term. So I know these videos help in the short term and our prayers for each other in the comments. And oh, thank you so much for the comments. They've been so helpful. But I want to focus this on today is some, just some key principles in weight management, the big picture. And these are the big picture that apply to most of chronic disease. So these are big ticket items that I want you to put in yourself because they help not only in weight, but they help for everything. Number one, I can't tell you how important it is to worship. Worshiping God through the Bible, through accepting his son as your savior, and if you haven't done that, learn what that's all about and the benefits of that. Um, so that worship is so important in weight management and all of health care. Because when we do that, when we accept him as our Savior, he's promised us, John 3, 16, if you believe in me, you're going to have everlasting life. The Bible is true. God doesn't lie. Um, this is something we can depend on. We can trust. This is a gift from God, this gift of worship that's irrevocable. Um, and if you think about it, it not only helps us forever when we believe in him, we're gonna have eternal life, that gift through Christ, but we're also gonna have short-term benefits as well. We have known in the studies and people that worship as little as 10 minutes a day, they make less adrenaline, less cortisol, less inflammatory markers, when they do this, when they focus on worship and God, they focus less on worldly things, which tend to be pro-inflammatory. And all of these things are keys to plugging into um, a weight management plan. So worship, it gives us the power to do things um, that's not necessarily of ourselves. We need a higher supernatural power to get these things done. Um, a second big picture item is water. We've talked about that, water, hydration, um, being well hydrated. When we're not well hydrated, it not only makes us more hungry, it turns on our stress chemistry, water fills us up, does so many good things to help us in weight management. Just drinking water and giving up other beverages alone, you could probably lose 10 pounds a year just doing that and nothing else. We talked about water. Um, Movement. Movement helps us burn calories. It increases our basal metabolic rate. When we move, it helps us with inflammation. We also help our endothelium. When we move, we make more endothelial progenitor cells, which protect our endothelium from damage. But basically, when we move, it helps us lose weight. When we sit, we don't burn calories. So movement is a principle in a weight management plan. So what are they? 
Worship, water, movement. What's the next one? Eat more plants. Plant-based diet. Eat more fiber. Fiber fills you up, has very few calories. In fact, on weight management plans, you can eat almost as much vegetables as you want. And remember, make sure you put a healthy vinaigrette or something on that on top that's not loaded in calories. So eat more plants. Stay away from the high condensed caloric foods that we see in fast foods, processed foods, that type of thing. Less of that, more of the fiber-filled foods. So that is number four. Number five is rest. Um, when we get enough rest, both rest at night and rest in the daytime, we have less stress chemistry, our dopamine levels are improved, we don't depend on food and those things for that quick feel good type of thing. Um, and if we think about resting at night, taking a weekly rest, um, and also with that comes the spiritual rest. So those are five big picture items that apply for everything. Worship, water, movement, more plants and fiber, rest. Those are the basics that apply to every chronic disease. These are big picture items. These are key principles in weight management and chronic disease management. So try to keep those in and start working on those. Now, other things that help in weight management, we briefly mentioned, eat more breakfast, less at night, intermittent fasting, stay away from meals at night if you can. Um, small portions, getting small plates, having a community that encourages you. Um, if you need some extra um, in information, go to nutritionfacts.org. Dr. Greger, who's been a guest on this program before, has wrote a book called How Not to Diet that is very good. Well, there's gonna be times when you have setbacks. There's gonna be times when you have mud on the windshield that you need to turn the windshield wipers on. Well, that's when you need to go to the promises of God. In all thy ways acknowledge him, he's gonna direct your path. Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven. If any of you lack knowledge, let him ask of God. All of those promises help turn on those windshields. So what do I do? Let's say I have a bad day. Let's say I have a bad eating day, and this is gonna happen from time to time. Am I gonna give up? No, I'm not. I'm gonna say, I have a bad day. I'm gonna find three things to be happy about, three things to thank God for. I'm gonna claim the promises of God. I'm gonna take a few deep breaths, find some things to be happy about, and move on to the next day. I'm not going to let one or two things um, demolish me or get me discouraged because I know that God will forgive me. He will give me the strength. He will forgive me. He will help me to keep my body, as it says in Corinthians, whatever you do, whatever you eat, do all to the glory of God. I can't do it themselves. I need something more. So I wanted to leave you before we move off to from the weight management um, topics. Um, it's now time in the year to move on to some new topics on biblical prescriptions, but I wanted to give you that framework and let us know we're gonna be, keep an eye on because we're gonna be working on something to help people as we come to the end of 2024. But I wanna finish today with the best place we can finish, and that's in scripture, hearing God speak to each one of us. This was inspired by God. This is God speaking to us. He wants to have a relationship with us. He loves us. He wants to have us in perfect health. He wants to heal us perfectly. And in our text today, um, Romans eleven twenty nine, 29, for the gifts, the gifts, the gift of worship, the gift of movement, the gift of eating plants, of resting, of water, these gifts, these gifts, and the calling of God, he's calling you right now to do something. He's calling you. What is he calling you to do? Or if you don't even know him, is he calling you to get to know him and give him a chance to see if he's real, to see if this book is true? And if he and the calling of God are irrevocable. Irrevocable. They cannot be turned away. They're there. So his calling of you, his gifts that he's given to you, those are something that according to Romans eleven twenty nine, we can put it in the bank. It's, we're assured of these things. 
So remember the principles, remember the scripture, remember the big picture, continue this year to work on weight, encourage others, stay in a community. We're gonna be working on a product that will help you. Be sure to give this a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Share it with your friends and neighbors because they this is might something that might touch their heart that they might really need to hear today. And I'm going to be back very soon with yet another biblical prescription for life.